everyone, today I have the Nikon Z8 and we're going to be doing a portrait photo shoot on this camera body and testing this out for both photo and video. I'm going to share with you my thoughts and my review of this camera body. So today I have two lenses, I have the 35mm f1.8 which we'll be starting on and I also have the 85mm f1.2, so let's go. That looks so cool, yes. Okay, you can move around as much as you want for this one because this lens is like wide angle so it's very easy for okay. me to follow you. The Nikon Z8 is a 46 megapixel full frame camera and features a completely electronic shutter. This is my first time officially doing a photo shoot with a Nikon camera and I'm so excited. I have used the Nikon Z5 before but I was doing self portraits with that camera so it's a different experience actually using the Z8 properly to do portrait photography with. In case you're new to my channel and my reviews, I always share the straight out of camera unedited photo at 100% crop so you can see all the details of the shots I'm taking from noise to sharpness to focus and afterwards my edited version at full view so you can see the final version of what can be done with the files. And do you want to take a couple of steps away from the wall too? Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. The Nikon Z8 is a flagship camera second to the Z9 with the main difference between the two being the size and weight of the cameras. The Z8 is the smaller and lighter camera which means you'll miss out on a few physical features like extra buttons, ethernet port, higher capacity battery and things along those lines but I'll get to the camera build a little later on. That's so cool there. Oh, wow. The Z8 is a camera aimed at pro photographers. In my niche of portraits, I can see this camera being used for weddings, events, and fashion photography due to some of the features like the raw 20 FPS silent blackout free shooting, autofocus speed, and the 46 megapixel files are a decent size to work with. Not just for portraits, but honestly, any genre of photography. I need to move on from the <laughs> from the wall. We'll go across the road. I really like the like the little garden thing. Okay, no, let's go to this side first. Sorry. <laughs> like there's too many options. Oh my god, that was unexpected. I love that. <laughs> this is really nice. It's such a good like little street. The autofocus of this camera for portraits is fantastic. It made doing the photo shoot on the day a breeze as I felt like I could rely on the eye detection AF. The Z8 has the usual phase and contrast detection autofocus system that you'll find on the majority of mirrorless cameras nowadays, and it has 493 single AF points. <laughs> I got the guy on the bike <laughs> in the background. And then I should probably change lens. That's so weird. Wow, um, that looks crazy. The background is so blurry. What the heck? It looks like you're like cut out and pasted oh my onto God. the background. Yeah. Whoa. Now I've switched over my lens to the Nikkor Z 85mm f1.2s. As I do with all my gear reviews, I left the job of focusing completely to the camera to see how well it would perform in a real world environment. So I did not use a focus point at all. I had my Z8 set up to continuous autofocus with auto area AF and making use of eye detection AF. As you can see from the picture in picture, it was extremely sticky on Amelia's eye. And then I'm gonna get a full body shot here too. So I have to run back. The files coming out of the Z8 are absolutely beautiful. I'm very happy with the image quality. Even though it looks like we had flat light, it was actually quite bright and glary overcast lighting. So I found the dynamic range of the camera to be enough to capture all the details in the scene. The colors straight out of camera are beautiful too. Amelia's skin tones look great. And I love how greens are interpreted. And then let's go to the flowers. Yes, I love this. I feel like it'd be cool if you stand in front of that yeah. 
pole and I'll hide it. You'll notice I shot the majority of images at ISO 400. I do have some other ISOs to share with you as well in just a moment. Usually with portrait photo shoots or weddings or events, you're not always shooting wide open, so you'll need to bump up your ISO to compensate for a higher aperture. I find that at most photo shoots for clients, especially weddings where you cannot control the ever-changing lighting or weather on the day, I'm in an ISO range of anywhere between 100 or base ISO to 640 for the daytime portion of my photo shoots. I wanted to see what the files look like at that level. You can see a small amount of texture, but overall they look very clean. In comparison, here is a photo taken at ISO 100 for you to compare, ISO 640, and finally ISO 1000 as well. They all look great. Something I did notice with the 85 is that even at f1.8, which I accidentally used it on because the aperture ring is very sensitive, I did experience a fair amount of eyelash focusing rather than iris focusing. I was still able to capture the shots I needed with the iris in focus, but unfortunately I did miss quite a few photos I liked because the focus was on the eyelash instead. I would love to see more accurate focusing on the iris in the future, as this 85mm f1.2 is such a dream lens to shoot portraits in this style. Aside from that, the 85mm was absolutely incredible. The background to foreground separation is insane and the bokeh is so creamy, I love it! We actually did another photo shoot in a different outfit with the Nikkor Z 85mm and 50mm f1.2 s wide open this time, which I am excited to edit and upload soon as well, so please keep an eye out for that. The Z8 is a little bit of a heavy camera body weighing 910 grams, but I didn't feel like that got in the way of me shooting with it. It feels very balanced in my hands, so the weight isn't as noticeable while you're using it. Here are a few close-up shots of the camera body for you to look at. I'm not going to go through everything this camera has, but something I do really appreciate is the physical button for release mode where you can quickly switch between single frame shooting, continuous low and high speed, etc. I really like the screen of the Z8 as it is a tilt screen, which I personally find the most helpful style of screen for photography but you can also turn it 90 degrees portrait orientation if you're shooting from a tricky angle. We also have a full-sized HDMI port and we do have dual card slots. One is a UHS-2 SD slot and the other is a CF Express Type B or XQD slot. I would have loved to have seen dual CF Express Type B in both slots like the Z9. I mentioned right at the beginning of this video how the Z8 only features an electronic shutter. I did not experience any rolling shutter during my time with it, shooting lots of portrait movement, although I wasn't shooting extreme high speed scenes. Anyway, while it doesn't have a physical shutter, it does have a sensor shield which looks like a shutter. Something funny is that I was struggling to change my lenses on this camera just because I'm used to turning the lens mount the other way, so I would always pause for a moment to make sure I'm twisting the lens the correct way and it just hurt my brain a little bit. Obviously, if you're a Nikon shooter, you would be used to this and it's not an issue. And I wonder if I can shoot from this way and get a bit more of the, the pink. Yes. Kind of. Oh yeah, that's so cool there. I really enjoyed my time using the Nikon Z8. It's an enjoyable camera to shoot with. I also appreciate the Nikon line, including all the Z mount lenses they have. I am looking forward to seeing if they release a flagship 35mm f1.4 or f1.2 because their 85 and 50mm f1.2 are really gorgeous lenses. Not to mention, there is also third party lens support with Nikon, which is so important in 2023. I did review the Tamron 50 to 300mm lens with the Z8 as well. I am also currently working on editing that video so please keep an eye out for it on my channel and let me know in the comments what other Nikon cameras or lenses you'd like to see me cover on my channel. So we're going to test out a walking shot by shooting 20 frames per second and we'll have a look at how many are in focus. And this is wide open on the 35 millimeter. Whoa. Yeah I feel like if you start from the side and just do like a all right, when you're ready. Nice. 
All right, I think that's good. The focusing during these shots is great, even though the 35 is not as sharp as the 85, which is expected considering the price difference. It was able to keep focus on Amelia while she's walking towards the camera, which is usually where focusing would slip. But here we still have plenty of frames to choose from with critical focus. For these video tests, I'm filming with the Nikkor 50mm f1.2s. The Z8 is a hybrid camera that features up to 8K 30p video as well as 4K up to 120p. As expected in a flagship hybrid camera, we have the ability to record in 4 to 2 10 bit with the option of N-Log or standard picture profiles internally including ProRes. Additionally, the body features a full-size HDMI port which also lets you record externally including raw video. In these autofocus tests, I'm using the camera in the same way as I did the portrait photo shoot. Continuous autofocus, auto area AF, eye detection AF, and letting the camera do all the work. In video, the autofocus is fast and quite sticky. While it's completely usable, I did find autofocus to be more consistent in stills mode. When walking towards and away from the camera, you can see focus slipping a little here and there, especially when we are closer to the camera. Please keep in mind, this video was all shot at f1.2, which makes it even more challenging to keep focus on a moving subject. The image quality of video is beautiful, it's very sharp, and the tonal and color range is great, considering this is just standard picture profile. That is all I have for today's review and photo shoot on the Nikon Z8. Let me know which ones are your favorite photos down in the comments below. And if you want to see more photo shoots on this camera or any other Nikon cameras, let me know. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I'll see you all next time. Bye.